Hello, my name is Mohamed Badon. Today I'm going to try to give you some uh, brief introduction, uh, introductory of databases. Uh, so, as you see here, database is a collection of data or information. Uh, most of the database or they have to be uh, interrelated or they are interrelated, that's what they call relational database. Database consists of collection of tables. Database, the way uh, the data was or usually organized is by tables. So we use tables to organize data. Uh, tables consist of the rows and columns. We use DPMS. DPMS, Database Management System, is to manipulate data such as to store, query, and update. So most of the DPMS that in the market are, for example, Microsoft Access, that is, is one of them, uh, MySQL, uh, Oracle. So all those, they are called dbms the way to communicate the dbms is to use use sql language sql language or sql language to query the underlying database uh, today in this tutorial we're going to use microsoft access 2007 uh, and happily here's a list of database management systems uh, access microsoft products mysql is open source so those of you who are interested in learning database more MySQL is open source. You don't need to have a license. You can download it from their website and it's open source and it has all the features that you need to know about databases. Uh, it's very powerful and I believe most of uh, big institutions use MySQL now. Uh, they're very, it's a very secure database. SQL Server, you need a license for Microsoft, but it's a product of the Microsoft. DB2 is a very robust and strong database, but belongs to IBM. And you have to have the license in order to use Oracle. Uh, it's the same. You have to have the license in order to use it. Uh, it's a big product uh, that belongs to Oracle. Now, I'm going to give you uh, some idea uh, when you want to build or develop a database. You have to have the idea. and You have to have uh, what you want from the database uh, to do for you. And you have to have also some uh, idea what is the output of the database will be. Uh, when you've done the database. So you have to sit down, think, and design the database. Uh, what you want, what kind of information would you like to capture? And how that information will be organized. So I'll show you how the table looks like in the first place before we start using Microsoft Access. So this is the how the uh, table look like. It has a uh, rows of columns. So in this part, it's, it's a column. And uh, in this, one two four side is the rows. So one to each rows has a unique and identified. That's what they call a primary number. The primary numbers eliminates the duplicate of the database. So you cannot have two prime numbers, uh, uh, primary numbers who are the same. One twenty four cannot be the same as one twenty five. So one twenty four belongs to this record, John Burton, and one twenty five belongs to Mo. So that's how you keep the data separate or distinguish the, the, the records. So, as I said before, you need when you have when you want to have a database, you have to have an idea what the database will look like, think and decide about it. That will ease to develop the database quickly. Uh, the, the process of developing the database. The primary key is the one that's unique and identified of each record. Two primary keys cannot be the same. So what I'm going to show you now how to develop the database using Microsoft Access. So I'm going to go start and I'm going to go Microsoft Access 2007 and I'm using that. So you're going to go to the blank database here and then you have here the default name. So I'm going to try to develop a database, student database. So I'm going to put here student db. So make sure that you understand that always the database file name has ACCDB when you are using Microsoft 2007. And now it will ask you which folder, which area you want to store. So mine, you can uh, save wherever you want your computer. But mine is, I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to go those lessons. I have a folder here called... Uh, student database so mine is a student dba so i'm going to click ok and now i'm going to say create so now it gives me the default page of the database but empty so i'm going to go create what we are going to create we are going to create a table 
And now I'm going to right click the table here to give me the assigned view. So I'm going to give a name. I'm going to click save. So now, as I said before, that little key is your primary key. So now we're designing the database. We're designing, we're putting the formatting of the database. So I'm going to put here. student ID uh, it, will uh, it will increase automatically as you see here author number the data so now here I'm gonna put the description student ID I'm gonna put here the first name it's a text so I'm gonna put here it's a very good idea to have a description of what is all this about so later on if you Want to change something or so you know what it is so now i'm going to put the last name here text and so this is the last name of the student it's the last name of the student and this is the address it's going to be the data text and now uh, Place. And as you see here, the right hand side is student and it's a table. And here at the bottom, it has also some other options. So I'll, I'll show you how to use it. And here you're going to put the telephone number. Telephone number. So now we are done. I'm going to save it. So now I'm going to input here. My name is Mo. And as you see here, the first number is one. A B D I A B D I A B D I. So the address one two three Hilda Street. And the phone number. As you see here, there is no. This is not a nice to put as a phone number because there's no format here. I'll show you how to change later. Now here I'm going to put John. John William. I'm going to put here what's address? 59 Avenue. And the phone number is 78. And now the last one will be MU. Now the address is 87 Avenue. We don't have a phone number. And now this guy is Singh Mahara 17 Avenue. Now we know this guy is phone number. So I entered the data, so I'm going to click save. So now if you open again, you see here, uh, this is the real data that we input. So if we're going to go back to sign here. And as you see here, the phone number, the format's not good. So I'm going to go input mask here. I'm going to click here. So I'm going to choose this format. And what we're going to try first. So as you see here, it's a nice look format. So I'm going to click here. Next. Next. And now we finish. And now we save. Click save. And we open again. Now if I try to put one, as you see here, nice now. If I try to put here, you see. And now here. And input this one is not seven one so now it's a nice formatted way so we're going to stop here today and uh, next tutorial we're going to continue showing you how to develop the forms and some uh, other uh, components thank you very much